Hey YouTube, it's Melissa here from Andrew and Melissa O. So I just wanted to update you on my hair. I trimmed it, I, it feels pretty good. I think I missed a few spots that feel a little bit um, rough. I can actually see a few spots, but I did a pretty good job. And this is like after washing my hair and I put my um, curl cream in it. So it's, it looks pretty good. Like my hair hasn't looked this good in a really long time. It's been looking super flat and not as full because I have been losing my hair. Literally, I used to go like this in chunks. Like, you know, people say you're supposed to lose like 100 cans a day or whatever it is. Um, actually, I don't know, it might be more than 100 cans. But you're supposed to lose hair every single day, which is, that makes sense. But literally, every time I like ran my fingers through my hair, it would be like, like if I went like this, hair would be like literally falling out into my hands. So ever since I've been taking care of my hair and doing the oil treatments and trimming it, it's been doing so much better. So, so much better. And yeah, so I'm really excited about it. I feel like it looks pretty full and like the curls are really looking great. And I'm just really happy with the way it's looking right now. And I'm embracing my curls. It's, it's really nice that there's this curly hair movement because for a long time it was like all about the straight hair. But now a lot of people are embracing their curls and that's wonderful, it's amazing. It's so wonderful when I see women who are, have like their big curly hair. It's so great to see that. When I was growing up it was not like that at all. Um, so yeah, it's really wonderful that people are embracing their natural curls. And myself included, that took me a, a while actually to embrace my curly hair. I always, it was really interesting actually when I was born I had straight hair and then my parents cut my hair I think my mom cut my hair because I had like some crusty ear problem I don't know and then <clears throat> it became like wavy like it was it was pretty much wavy and very thick and very like I had a lot of hair and then I cut my hair in the fifth grade and my mom was very very upset because we my dad took me to get a cut and she didn't like the person who cut my hair so she was very upset but my hair like was totally fine after that but um, it did start getting much more curly and I mean I guess at the time you're going through puberty so that makes sense and then in high school it was pretty curly like this but it was I always had thick hair still like I had thick hair and it was like very full but um, after college pretty much like after like during college during college I straightened my hair almost every single day for like a whole year at least there was one year that I cut it really short my hair it was like it was like maybe up to here like I think like up to here or something it was, it was super short so I like w wanted it to be cute and long like cute and straight it was like a really cute cut but I liked it straighter better, so when it was straight it was like down here, but like when it was curly it kind of bounced up. But anyway, so I straightened the heck out of my hair and it was so like fried and my hair really started thinning there and then I was also suffering from some health issues and I also like had very, I moved back to home after college and then it was super stressful, I had a stressful job and my hair just like literally kept falling out and falling out and falling out. and. Yeah, and so we, lately, my hair has also been falling out. Like, Andrew and I, we work really, really hard to have really good communication in our relationship, but sometimes it can be really stressful, and the past few years have been pretty stressful, um, especially trying to build our tiny house while we were getting married, and it was just a lot. It was a lot, and my hair has been falling out, and it's, it hasn't quite been the same, so I've literally been doing everything I can to help support that and also I've been doing like way more meditating and breathing exercises and gratitudes and just a lot of things to help with that so anyway that was totally a tangent that I didn't mean to go on but um, I'm feeling really happy about the results and I showed you before like all this hair is growing so much like look at this this was like not here at all like my hair was falling out literally so like now when I like wash my hair like a little bit of hair is coming out it's not nearly as much as what it had been it was like it was really crazy how much hair was falling out so I'm obviously changing the way I think I've also 
I have been eating pretty well for pretty much since 2010. I mean, I go back and forth with cooked and raw foods, but I do eat a plant-based diet and as much raw fruits and vegetables as I can. And if I can't get that, then I'll eat, you know, whole plant-based foods like potatoes and squash and, um, well, we have rice, uh, usually brown rice, as that is a whole plant-based food, and beans. So we do eat the, things like that still, but that has definitely helped with my healing that I was struggling with too, that I had in after I graduated from college. So that's probably another video that I can explain to you what happened to me, and yeah. So anyway, my hair is growing and it's great and it's looking great and I'm really happy about it and anyway if you have any comments please leave them below any questions please leave them below and we'll do our best to get back to you and also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel this way you get notifications whenever we put up whenever we put up a new video all right well have a wonderful day thanks for watching bye